What's up guys, JNO here and welcome back to the FM Scout YouTube channel and today on the next we are looking for the next Ryan Giggs. Yes, that's right, we're looking for the assistant manager of Man United and Man United and Old Trafford legend and Welsh legend Ryan Giggs. Now he is probably perhaps one of the best left wingers that has ever played in the Premier League and near the end of his career he also showed that he could be a great centre midfielder as well and if we have a look at the screenshot I managed to find of him in 1997 as a 23 year old we can see that he had some pretty damn good stats in Championship Manager. Now the stats we're going to be looking for are dribbling, flair, off the ball, pace, set pieces we won't be focusing on because I think that might narrow down our search a bit too much and technique and shooting we want him to be able to score goals now remember the way this series works is I mainly look at the stats so if you feel there are some players that would fit being Ryan Giggs more than the ones I pick I apologize I know Gareth Bale would be a very obvious option but these are the people that when you search five years into the game these kind of stats these are the players that show up Now, the first player to show up is Antoine Griezmann. Now, we all know who this guy is, and he's been lighting up the world football stage at the moment in real life. But in-game, his stats are pretty damn good as well. The only downside is, in five years' time, he is 30 years old, and he is going to cost you a pretty penny to get into your squad. But if we have a look at the stats, we can see dribbling 15, finishing 16, technique 17, flair 17, off the ball 15 but as you can see the stats definitely do match up and Anton Griezmann is one of those players that is very very versatile so you could pretty much play him as a forward as a winger or as a cam right behind your striker if we have a look at his history we can see that apart from this one season here he's always got above seven on the average rating scale his goals have slowly gone up starting off as four and three but then it went on to eight ten and eleven he's always chipping in with some assists as well and player of the matches his highest was in the 2019-2020 season where he got seven player of the matches and if we have a look at the other stats we can see we've got 86 shots on goal 33 of which are on target we'd like a bit of a better average ratio than that 38 percent isn't that high goals he scored 12 overall passes wise 58 percent success rate again i'm thinking that's not quite as good as Giggs would probably have got in his career in a season but maybe this is just one average season for him a 7.18 compared to some very good ones that he's had before coming in at number four is Luciano Vieto, who is mainly a striker on the game, but as you can see down here, he can play as an attacking left mid, an attacking right mid, and as a cam. But those are probably something you're gonna to have to train him at if you do try and make Luciano Vieto the next Ryan Giggs. He's only 28 in the year 2022, which is good, and the stats are okay, but Overall, he doesn't look as strong as some of the other players in this list. But where it matters, dribbling 16, finishing 16, first touch 16. Passing is only 12, which is pretty poor, but technique is 15. Flair is 15, off the ball is 18. So he does have some of the stats needed. And if you're going to train him up as a midfielder, then hopefully this passing would rise up as well. Now again, it's not a cheap player, but these are the players with the stats that are going to match. He's expensive at the beginning of the game, so again, it's not someone you can buy for cheap and turn into someone that costs a bomb. But if we have a look at his history, we can see that in the last four years, he has done very well in the Liga BBVA for Atletico Madrid. Now, he did leave Atletico Madrid, where he was doing well before, to go to Man City, but he got eight games and then zero games. So his trip to England was a bit of a waste of time. But when he's played in Spain, He's usually got over 7.2 rating. We can also see that he's loved the goals. 21 goals, 20 goals. Not a great season when he came back to Atletico with 7, but he didn't play that many games. 13, 15 and 15. Now assist-wise, he got 9 in the season before this one, but otherwise it's not great. And player of the matches-wise, he's just currently had his best season, getting 4 player of the matches. Now these goals would probably drop if you put him in midfield, and these assists would probably go up, but you definitely know he's someone that can score goals for you. 
If we have a look at his stats, his on-shot target ratio is 52%, scoring 21 goals. He's had 147 shots in total. Again, that's decent, but you'd expect that from a striker. 847 passes, 58% of those were successful, which again is pretty good for a striker. So if you trained him, and you would have to train him and make it a project, perhaps he could be the next Ryan Giggs. Coming in at number three is Dominic Berardi. Now, Dominic Berardi is a great youngster you can pick up, but unfortunately, the whole footballing world knows he's a great youngster, so he will also cost you a pretty penny. But his stats do look good, and he's only 26 in 2021. Now, his dribbling is 15, his finishing is 15, his technique is 16, his passing is 15, his off the ball is 15, his flair is 16. So all of that is very promising. Again, He's a very versatile player as well, but let's have a look at his stats over the last five seasons. As we can see, he had a great first season, but then he went to Bayern Munich, which unfortunately knocked him down a few pegs because he got a 6.74 and a 6.93. Then when he moved to Spain, he got a 7.75, a 7.73 and a 7.57. Great stats there in Spain. My only worry is maybe he's suited to Spanish and Italian football and not German and most importantly Premier League football but if we have a look at the goals 19 when he was the main man at Sassuolo Bayern he dropped off didn't get as many games either but when he went to Real Madrid for 42.5 million 13 goals 11 and 10 with 9 9 and 11 assists and quite a few player of the matches and his in-match stats are also a lot better than some of the previous people we have mentioned 126 shots 66 on target which is a 52% on target ratio and 21 goals passes wise he's made 60 percent of all of his passes which is also a lot better ratio than previous people mentioned now we're getting to someone that perhaps you could buy for slightly cheaper in the beginning of the game he is 30 now but coming in at number two is quincy promes now as far as i'm aware he plays in the russian league at the start of the football manager game so maybe you could get him for cheap he's not in the best league so maybe his stats would be better if you took him to a higher league with a higher level of coaching staff but the stats are dribbling 15 finishing 15 first touch 16 technique is 16 off the ball is 15 flair is 15 they're not amazing stats and as you can see a lot of darker greens there but he has not played that often in a bigger league as far as i'm aware I could be lying to you. I am lying to you, in fact. In fact, he's played most of this game in the Liga BBVA for Atletico Madrid. But if we have a look at the stats, we can see that none of these are below 7. Now, the last season wasn't the best at 7.09, but we could put that down to his age. But he got 7.3s, 7.2s. He got an 8, but that was for one game, so ignore that one. But 7.39 when he was in Russia as well. And he gets goals and assists. If we have a look at his other stats, we can see 10 goals scored from 87 shots, 38% on target ratio, which isn't great, but 59% success rate with his passes, 877 made from a 1,494. And finally, please don't hate me for this one, please don't flame me in the comments, but the person coming in at number one as the next possible Ryan Giggs is a Yosi Perez and let me explain to you why now look at these stats for one you've got dribbling 16 finishing 16 first touch 16 passing 15 technique 16 flair 17 and off the ball of 19 now if you took him maybe you could make those stats go even higher but the main reason why I think he could be the next Ryan Giggs is one because his age so you've got time to develop him but two because of his performances in the Premier League now if we look at Newcastle, that's a 7.13, a 7.27, a 7.06, a 7.28, a 7.06 and a 7.22 and that's at Newcastle with goals galore 19, 24, 14, 21, 19, 16. Assists are all there as well, player of the matches are there and then when he went to Chelsea for 34 million, 22 goals, 5 assists, 6 player of the matches, a 7.49 rating. Those performances, and I think in most saves, a Yosi Perez does really well, just show you what kind of player you could turn a Yosi Perez into. 
if we have a look at his stats, 50% on target ratio for his shots, 75 shots on target, 28 of those were goals. Key passes, a 60% success ratio as well. So if you train this guy up, I really think he could turn into a lethal player, but a player that is very similar to Ryan Giggs as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a pleasure doing this video for FM Scout channel. As always, I've been JNO, and remember to subscribe to the FM Scout YouTube channel.